All right. So in the last video, we in, we inserted into the database, and I'm going to keep the connection. We want to connect, but now I want to retrieve. Retrieving is very common. Um, for example, you just registered for classes. You want to be able to see all your classes, or I want to be able to see all the students that are enrolled in my classes, or staff may want to manage who's taking what class and the students that are taking each class. So retrieving is is um, very common. So I'm going to com I commented out all of my inserts, and now I want to show you how to retrieve. So now. Um, I have my select star from student. Of course, you could use Weir and you can select whatever you need. I'm, I'm just for testing purposes. I just did a select star from student. I want to see all of the rows. So instead of going into PHP my admin, I want to just do it here. I'm going to retrieve all my rows and we're going to watch it working. So I have um, my SQL statements. I execute that statement and store the results in, R, in the variable called RS in my result set. And now all of the rows are in here, so I can go through them with a while loop and doing rs.next to get each the next row, each row. Now we know a row is made up of um, two columns, two attributes, an ID and a name. And we called the ID student ID. And in, in, if you go back to the last video and you'll go back to phpMyAdmin, we called it student ID. And we called this one student name. So I'm going to store them in variables. So I have an int id equals rs.getInt student id. That will get me the id. rs.getString student name will get me the string student name. And I'll store that in the variable called name. So now I have this id and name. And I can display. And all I'm going to do is display it nicely. id, name. And this is in a while loop. So it's going to do it again for each row. id, name, id, name, while loop until there's no more. So let's do that. I'm going to compile it. I'm going to run it. Okay, now let's bring this up a little bit so you can see. Um, you can see my select worked. ID one, um, comma, I, ID is one, comma, name is Bart Simpson. Two, name, it did exactly what I wrote here. Uh, and of course, you know Java, you can make it look nicer. This is me doing this very quickly just to show you, um, but hopefully you'll do it nicer. But you can see it's going through. We, we added Elizabeth Bennett, you know, it's every everything we've been doing. Um, so you can see the SQL, the retrieving worked, and now we have a way to view everyone taking classes. You can, you know, of course, make it nicer and customize for what you want to do and you should.